for the past 200 years, every generation has developed um, thinking and a contribution to human thought and knowledge that has extended the lifespan of the next generation to come. We have um, had advances in sanitation, antibiotics, child health, which have all contributed to increasing the life expectancy from around 30 years to 70 years, as we have in developed countries today. Until now, my generation is the first since 1800 to look to be reversing that trend. On current projections, my children won't live as long as I will because of the, the scourge of chronic disease, um, conditions like heart disease um, uh, and diabetes, and the devastating impact they can have on, on the lifespan of, um, of the next generation. It's not through want of trying to, to fix these problems. The governments have, have goals. The New South Wales government, for example, has a goal of, of reducing um, childhood obesity over the next 10 years by, by 5%. That doesn't seem like a very stretch goal to me, but actually the experts are saying that that may be unattainable because of the complexity of the problems that we're trying to solve to actually address these issues. I just won't accept that my generation will be the one to reverse the trend of actually contributing to that next generation to, to, live, um, to live longer and, and healthier and happier lives. I'm not willing to accept that. I think it's our duty to think differently, to apply our creativity, to work together, to actually um, use all of the methods at our disposal to overcome this health challenge. And I believe that we'll only solve this problem by completely reforming the way that we deliver healthcare, that the way we conceptualise the way that we manage our health, by providing people like all of us with the data and information we need to make better choices about preventing problems with our health and to actually living healthier lives. It's a complete transformation of the way we need to do things. I must mention, um, Professor um, uh, Attila Brunks mentioned earlier the, the Luminaries project and um, and thank you um, to the Dean who mentioned my work with the, um, the women's, uh, Sin uh, Sydney Women's IT and Engineering um, program in UTS. One of the things I do with an undergraduate is I visit uh, girls in Western Sydney in schools to talk about um, STEM, uh, science and technology, engineering and maths careers as an option for them. And when I talk about the work that I'm doing, it's, it's not about construction. Um, even though it's in the IT and engineering field, it's actually about improving human existence and human lives, and that's quite appealing to, to girls. Um, we find that when I, I partner with an undergraduate who works in the biomedical engineering um, space, that, that women are quite, that young girls are quite motivated to, to come to UTS and to do that sort of work. Um, the one thing that, um, that appeals to the most, though, about my presentation is the piece at the end where I say, and here's a brochure about um, the sort of scholarships that you can get. Um, they're most interested in, in the $1,500 they might be able to qualify for to help them to come to university to pay for a laptop computer to get their books. So thank you to the luminaries in the room tonight. I'm at the front line and I see the massive impact that actually has and, and I'm surprised each time what a difference just $1,000 can make to them about making a life-changing decision about coming to university to study in a science field or not. I... Um, it's, it's a real privilege to have, to have my work um, recognised tonight by such a prominent institution as this because it's my work really that's being recognised as much as I am and, and that's a real honour um, to have that for the whole industry that, I, that I'm representing tonight as well. I'd like to thank Chancellor Wilson, um, Vice-Chancellor Professor Brungs and um, Deputy Vice-Chancellor Bill Purcell. Thank you. Um, the Dean, um, Professor Burnett, thank you very much and for the prestige that you've conferred on, on my field and, and on me tonight. I'd also like to thank um, Stefano um, Biancini, who's, who's nominated me for this award, um, and for Professor Ken Dovey um, from the Faculty of Engineering IT, who supported me over the last 15 years um, in such an immense way. And finally, I'd like to thank my husband, Hugh McDermott, um, whose, whose passion for equity, including health equity for people of all backgrounds, um, all ages, um, and, and helping me um, work with an overarching value of legacy, with, a legacy that we're both striving to achieve for our daughters and for the next generation. Thank you.